Greetings from the north woods of Michigan's Upper Peninsula. I'm Natasha and this is Plant-Centered Living. I just want to let you know that if you hear a cat meowing pitifully in the background, please know that no cats are being harmed. That is Tori, and I had to put her on the porch because the only place that she wanted to be was either perched on my shoulder or on my head, which made talking very difficult. Um, she is just not happy when she is not being petted, so I will pet her the second that I am done filming this video. Today, I really want to talk about joyful eating and how important it is to not only enjoy the preparation for our meals, but the eating, the act of eating. Eating should be a joyful act. If it's not joyful, it should at least be pleasant. If you are eating meals that you truly don't enjoy, then it's really difficult to make the behavioral changes that go along with adopting a different way of eating. So I encourage all of you to find those go-to meals that you really enjoy while you're experimenting with a variety of new foods. Because there's no way that you're going to like every new food or every new dish that you try. But you need to keep trying in order to find those dishes that you really enjoy. I once heard a guest lecturer talk about the fact that love is the most important ingredient in anything that you cook. And my first reaction was, well, that's just silly. But he went on to say, it's important to set those intentions when you go into the kitchen. Because if you're resentful, if you're angry, if you have had a very stressful day, all of that energy is going into the food that you make. So not only will you be consuming that food, but perhaps if you're cooking for others, they're also going to be on the receiving end of that negative energy. So it's really important that when you enter your cooking space or your prep space, that you leave behind the stresses of the day, that you set aside any frustrations that you might have and throw yourself into the act of food preparation. Enjoy what you're doing. Think positive thoughts. Look at the colors and the textures that you're working with and appreciate the fact that you have the opportunity to eat healthy foods that also make you happy. Set a positive intention when you enter the kitchen. If you're someone that likes music, put some music on that gets you moving, that you enjoy, that inspires you, that makes you want to spend time in that space. And then think about how fortunate you are to know about a way of eating that is not only healthy for you, but it's also kinder to the animals and gentler to the earth. So the meal preparation itself is something that can be joyful and while you're making it, you can have the anticipation of what you're going to eat when that dish is finished or those dishes are finished. My family always laughs at me because I'm the one who at breakfast is enjoying my food, but also at the same time thinking about what I'm going to have for lunch. And when I'm eating lunch, I'm thinking about, ooh, what do I get to have for dinner? Because I truly enjoy food. But that's something that I've worked at cultivating over the years. I haven't always loved to cook, but it's through experimentation um, that I have come to truly enjoy preparing food for me and for others. Let's share tips and tricks for making our kitchen a space that we want to spend time in. What are your favorite dishes? What inspires you to make food? What are your go-to meals? Send your thoughts my way via email or on Facebook so that we can share them out with each other next week. Until then, if you have any questions, please feel free to get in contact with me. And remember that I am here and available to help you with your transition. You can give me a call, 906-235-5430. You can visit my website at plantcenteredliving.com. You can certainly follow me on Facebook, but let's stay connected and let's continue to grow our plant-centered community so that we have that support network in place to help all of us on our plant-centered journey. Have a great week, everybody. 
I'll talk to you soon. Hey all, here's Tori, cuddle cat extraordinaire. Just wanted to let you know that I am indeed fulfilling my promise of cuddling her the second I got done with the video.